We know you've been playing both sides. You think that's not hurtful? No. Uh -oh. That was kind of my only plan. <laughs> oh, you finally ran out of quarters, didn't you, Marty? <laughs> Poor little Marty! <laughs> Hold up, guys. Hey. I'm so sorry about this, but I was completing checkout forms for Mr. Mertens, and it turns out he's medically unfit for Riyadh. He's got a rare condition called garbage body. Uh, that sounds completely fake. Coming from anybody but you, Dr. Campbell. <laughs> See you at the fun run. That was breathtaking con work, Doc. So you gonna buy me dinner or what? I heard that you loved me, but only for two weeks. To be hopeless or not to be, I'm weak with indecision. Could we begin again on a terrible day? Would be greatly appreciated by me. I'll wear my normal shoes this time. And maybe you'd like me better in the sunlight. If I build a raft, will you stay with me then? And fall in love all over again. Oh, I'm so late. I'll be home by seven. Hey, can you run a load of laundry? You got it. Should I order us something for... Vegetarian and mango lassi! <laughs> yeah, that's Mr. Bear. Pretty interesting guy, huh? Where the heck is Mommy's Indian food, huh? Hey, look what you got. That's one of my old gadgets. The breadstick wand. <laughs> that must be the grub. End of the line, Mertens. We're here for vengeance! Ha! Hot breadsticks is what we bake. We don't bake pie and we don't bake cake. You pathetic man. <laughs> don't worry. Daddy's got a raft stashed around here somewhere. Hey, guys, I'm ready for that tally. Martin? Finn! <gasps> Martins! Whew. Let's give Mom a text. Yeah, I guess we'll just circle around the island and see if... Dang, back to Nature Island! Let's, let's just wait out the storm and then... Ah! The Guardian! No! I'm not trying to leave! Don't worry, Daddy's always got a plan. Finn, I'll be back for you. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Hello. 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 Hot bread sticks is what we bake. We don't bake pie and we don't bake cakes. I can't believe that of all the hundreds that have tried, the gall bag that finally makes it past the Guardian is Martin Mertens! Don't understand. What's up? Nothing. I just haven't said anything in a while. Dad? Uh, Dan! Dan! What, what the heck are you doing, doing here? What? You were just yelling at me. No, no, no. That was the tree spirit. Commander of all trees, bringer of hard times. Dad. You're not falling for it, huh? Well, it was worth a try. Dad, your arm. Oh, this? <laughs> yeah. When my ship crashed, I got shot out of the window. I knocked a kite out of the air, then caught my arm in a woodpecker hole. Whoa. Uh, speaking of arms, though, uh, I see you got yourself a brand spanking new one. How about that? Oh, yeah. I, I got it for my PB Dream Sword. Uh-huh, neat. Actually, for a while there, I thought if we ever saw you again, I was going to tear your arm off. Well, shoot, who could blame you? Yeah. But you definitely don't feel that way anymore, right? No, no. It's it's okay now. Okay, great. Great. How about a hug? 
What the heck, Dad? Is everything you say a lie? No, no, of course not. Well, is there any way I can tell the difference? <laughs> I hope not. Hot dang, hold that thought. Those little guys are back with the engine bulb for my pod. Excuse me. I am sending forth my holy emissary, Martin Mertens, and his regular son, Finn. Don't forget to do whatever Martin tells you. Almost there. A little further. A uh -huh. little further. Keep it coming. There you go. A little further. And stop. Fantastic work, boys. Absolutely fantastic. Holy stuff, Dad. You're messing them all up. This is why you're lying to them? So they mess themselves up for you? What? No, no, no. Look, they love it, see? Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. <laughs> They're helping a poor old stranded man in need. You like to help people, don't you? I'd, I'd do it myself if I could, but I'm too strong to fit through the service hatches. Come on, give me a chance. <laughs> They're gonna fetch me one last piece, and you and I can watch them do it. Then, I'll be out of your hair by tomorrow morning. Oh, right. Yeah, don't worry. I know I'm cramping your style down here. Am I right, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess. Sure I am. Now let's go fetch that piece. It's really warm down here. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, son. That's just the ship cooking. One thing about this ship, it cooks. Should it be cooking? Nah, but that's just real life. Okay, babies, I need this piece. It's a steering wheel. It's in the steering room. <sighs> Last one in breaks Tree Spirit's heart. Wait, 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 wait. You don't have to go in there if you don't want to. Nah, I think we want to. Okay, I know, I know. <laughs> Come here. Live it up, pals! This is your night! Hey, hey! Careful with the finish! That buggy's ready to blast! Yo! Party animals! Still hungry? Mm -hmm. Come on! Tree Spirit says! Scoop it till you poop it! Let's get gross! Oh, sorry. So, you guys want to learn another one? Okay, watch this. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> huh? They're kneeling before me? Yeah, that feels right. <gasps> guards, guards, it's the rebel leader! Hey, I'm famous! Grab him! Uh oh. Oh, yeah. I said get the revelator! We're coming for you, bro! Don't you worry, Martin, too. I... Oh, the barrels. Yes, I just can't wait for tonight when I get to haul these barrels out to the dump outside the city walls. I hate this city, and I love hauling. I should go do something. Well, how about that? Our ticket to freedom. A pitched foreign hostage. We have this surrounded the area. Give up the rebel leader and you will be spared. Refuse and we'll blow up the whole market. Shoot. Mm. I know you don't want to give me up, son. But if I stay with you, we both die. Papa! Mm. Well, no, son. I'm not, I'm not trying to abandon you. But we're running out of options here. If I'm going to heroically save your life, I'm going to have to take drastic action. Quick, now, son! <laughs> 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 Here I am! 
Here I am! <laughs> Get the dang leader! What? What the heck's going on over there? Whoa, Martin Two's got moves. There's nowhere to run, old man. Who are they calling old man? <laughs> Holy bags! Martin Two is old as heck. Well, see ya. You're a talented guy, M2. You'll figure it out. Eyes on the prize. Who the heck are you? My hat! <gasps> All the kinks bling. Martin, too, would have loved to see me take all this. Dang, if I'd only kept that moth. Huh? <laughs> Must be the globs rewarding me for my heroism. Yum. You sort of. And I crashed on Earth and became a butterfly or some biz. And I guess it was just some random absurd thing. Just a joke I've been playing out for centuries. Who's creating the joke? Are you? And if so, then are you my creator? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Probably not. Probably not, but who knows? I've been around forever and experienced so much impossible junk. I've embodied all that is good and evil. And now we're here. It's unprecedented, and I give you a choice. Come with me to the end, and the beginning, or struggle here a while like a beautiful autumn leaf. What's that bell sound? Cool, man. This is your crisis, as you stand on the edge of freedom from love, hate, friendship, isolation, jealousy, secrets, violence. Video games, ice cream waffles, sadness, madness, power, honor, loyalty, mothers, fathers, scoundrels. How long are you gonna list stuff? It's a long list. You're telling me to abandon all this stuff, but you're not really making it sound bad. It's not bad. I'm just giving you the choice of a new mode of existence. I feel like I put a lot of work into this meat reality. I'd like to see it through. Fair enough. Hey, how about I get a new mode? Are you seriously trying to bail out again? What? This deal sounds pretty good. <sighs> Dad. Uh-oh, I know that look. When you fled the scene like a ding-dong ditcher in the night. Listen, Finn, no answer I give you will be satisfying. Besides, it was like 40 years ago. I'm 16. I don't have a star to revolve around to track time. But why do you always run from everything? You burn enough bridges, the only direction to move is forward. Hmm. Well, there ain't no change in you, I guess. Well, I'm glad we finally understand each other. Start the engine, Comet Boy! Prepare to discorporate. Goodbye, son! Bye, Dad. I should have asked for a lift home. Ugh. Jake! I thought I had lost! You. 
okay, Finn? What? Jake! Banana Man? How? Well, I was just floating around and I drifted into B-Man's flight path. It's pretty random, right? It, it wasn't random. I did it. Let's get the jazz out of here. No. There we go, see? Problem took care of itself. You think Finn and Jake are all right? I'd say it's about a 50-50 chance. That's pretty much everything in life, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa! What's that? Hey, PB. We took care of it. Wang. Good job, guys. Mmm, I want to croak out here. <laughs>